Welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the differences and physical characteristics of different species of mushrooms. My first example is black poplar piapino mushroom. If you don't stir the liquid culture every couple days, the mycelium will grow on the surface and start turning brown. And this is another jar of piapino. You can see that it's just starting to turn brown on the surface. The mycelium of piapino will also turn brown on an agar plate. This liquid culture is king oyster, which is very aggressive and can grow on the surface if you don't stir it. The mycelium will always be a normal white color. The next one is white enoki, which I've seen one strain produce rounded fuzzy growth and another strain produce long stringy mycelium. This liquid culture is black rishi, which always grows really thick pieces of mycelium and also needs to be stirred often. The next example is pink oyster mushroom which always stays a solid white color in liquid culture, but if you put it on agar or grain spawn, it will start turning a shade of pink. The next one I want to show you is shiitake mushroom. The mycelium is really slow in liquid culture and never makes it to the surface, but if it did make it to the surface, it would start turning a brown color like it does on agar plates. This is shiitake on an agar plate, and you can see it's starting to popcorn and brown. If you check out my most recent video, you can see how shiitake fruits. Next we have cordyceps militaris liquid culture, which grows extremely thick and can form a pellicle on the surface if you don't stir it. Another species that can get pretty crazy on the surface is antler rishi. If you don't stir it, it will grow like a web of mycelium on the surface and start growing yellowish fruit bodies. The mycelium of turkey tail mushroom grows very consistent long strands of mycelium. It stays a white color throughout the whole process. The next one is white oyster. It's another thick producing mycelium with a normal color. Here we have a Foliota Nameco liquid culture, which is very thick and can sometimes appear cloudy. The last species in this video is Black Pearl King Oyster, which produces a normal colored, abundant mycelium. And those are just some of the differences that you can see between different species of mushrooms. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.